Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with again, and we're back for some more Factorio. Thank you all for your feedback and uh, joining us for the fun here. Uh, why is it, where are those two stopped in that three? Oh, you know, probably, probably flow rates. It's probably okay for the balance. They are, they are circuited. Um, we got a couple issues need to be, uh, actually, let's flip into map mode, need to be tended to that were brought to my attention. Thank you so much for doing so, including uh, that there are some issues with the flow rate. Now, I think the question was, do I have pumps that are placing, running back on each other? I don't think that's the case. We do have one uh, situation over here that may be a little odd. Uh, these guys are pumping, of course, through here into this intersection, and there's a pump pulling it north here. There's no pump pushing it south directly here, but I think that is okay because the volume needed to come through here is uh, reasonably high, or reasonably low, and, uh, um, you know, it's not a big deal. However, one of these things, this should not be happening. See how long it's taken these guys to get the repair packs here? So I think what we need to do is have a logistics supply of repair packs possibly somewhere over here. So I'm thinking maybe like right down here by this stone, we can do and uh, just put in a, a logistics a requester chest actually I can do that up here then I can just get the bots to build it right uh, make a requester chest with a to be honest it can just have uh, that and it doesn't even need any circuitry it just needs to have a request to bring repair packs um, I mean, probably 200? No, 100 repair packs to the chest. That's all we need, and we can just get rid of that and uh, drop it over here. We'll also do that in the northeast. So we'll throw, say, throw it in, say, right here. I think this might be a fine choice right there. Uh, I also need a power pull, of course, for it. Okay, so they'll make that. And then uh, let's put one up here as well. Let's put a couple up here. It's okay if we have too many power poles. Or too many uh, logistics. One there, and we'll put one over here as well. There. Uh, maybe we do a similar thing over on this side. And these will basically make sure that we have a stack of repair packs there. And then the repair packs are automatically feeding into the machine, thus filling it up. Um, where do we go on this one? The one guy down in the middle, probably. Like there, and we'll put one over on the west here. At some sort of robo port, say there. Good. Okay, that should solve the them flying six trillion miles to get themselves a repair pack. Because when those guys hit, they really hit hard, and uh, there is damage done. So this should spin our logistics. Oh wait a second, do we have repair packs being made? <laughs> um. Question of the day. Doom, 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 doom. I don't know if we do. These are our uh, speed or modules. Get faster so you can get faster. It's the way of Factorio. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Did I miss him? I was looking for repair packs. That's always a creepy sound when the power goes down or the uh, daytime change. I don't think... Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, these, however, are not going to work. I need a passive provider chest for that. And the solution is just going to be to do it like that. And that. Just, just so we've got those rolling... Has need not not an entire thing. Let's go with uh, two stacks. It's fine. Now uh, that way the requests get out there. The buffers will not go to the requester chests until this uh, checkbox is done. So I should say the requesters will not pull from these buffer chests. So I wonder if a buffer chest on repair packs is ever going to be an intelligent thing because it's not something you build with, is it? Do the robots use... I guess those are construction bots, so maybe they do. Anywho, uh, next thing on the 
list was the fact that we've got this going on. See that red? That's not cool. That's entirely not cool. So is the fact that we're burning through copper pretty aggressively here. Hmm, maybe we're not. Why is this one slowing, losing speed or throughput here, but it's not here? It's interesting. Uh, so our green circuits, we've got a few weird oddities where we have uh, production modules that are not filled because of something I did with the blueprinting. Oops. Uh, okay, so prod threes. You bringing them to me? Yes, excellent. Thank you. Um, we'll go there and there, which means they should be running to give me more all the time here. Yeah, it must have been just the way that I copied uh, Oops, this uh, recipe. Okay. <laughs> Too far away for them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, are there production modules nearby? Do we have enough production threes that I could like grab some? Yeah, I can just do that, right? No, 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 no. Why are you why are you removing? Oh, do I have a limit? I do. Uh, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate, okay. Might as well actually up those numbers. Let's do that. Let's up these numbers to fifty and fifty. And we'll do the same thing with the speed threes. Just to make sure that we uh, don't waste too, too much time here. There we go. Filling me up from the uh, leftovers in the storage. We will get to that storage. Thank you so much for everyone's feedback on the best way to do the storage uh, system. And I, I like that it was entertaining for some. We have uh, since removed the system of using just the train to filter stuff, but... It was entertaining, for sure. It was definitely a learning curve for me. Or learning experience, I should say. Not curve. Learning experience for me. Which I loved. Um, okay, we have a bunch also of these uh, modules. I, I like how it was pointed out th this about our power grid. Um, was it power that pointed out our power grid? The number one consumer of power in the network is beacons. By an obnoxious rate. <laughs> Almost three times more than the Assembly 3s. Or, or the furnaces. <laughs> uh, which is entertaining because they're not actually all working. See? Not working. Uh, so come here, my friends, and remove this batch, for instance. And we'll remove that one. That one. That one. This just seems like... Oh, pipes. Pipes are fun. And that one. And then we will copy. This is a batch of... Uh, this is a set that actually has the same... Uh, the same size and the same... They can basically just be printed in, is what I'm trying to say. Like that. And that way the bots will actually fill them with the appropriate modules. Which is lovely. Saves me a heck of a lot of time. Okay, however... These are not being bottlenecked by a lack of uh, speed. They're being heavily bottlenecked by a lack of red circuits. Which, if you notice, is partially because we're trying to feed this system on one belt. See how thin it gets down here? They're barely going by at yellow belt speed, not even on that edge. Uh, so right in about here, we start seeing it. Actually, we can even see it here. These guys at the end aren't getting frequent enough hits of uh, circuits. They're getting stolen in between. Uh, it's not because of the speed of the belt, because uh, this one has them all fed all the way to the end. So that belt is actually full of, of circuits right there. So, it is a matter of input. Become master of the input. Um, so, I don't know that this is a painfully ugly way to do this system, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Uh, I would like uh, one of those to, you know, give me some space to work with. And we literally just do that. 
and then we tell them to priority rate, priority output rate, like that. Right? So they keep the line full, and then the, the emptiness happens down at the end, is the plan. See? <clears throat> there you go. Now they're compressed. That one, however, is not, which means we are either just filling the line, or we're actually not getting enough there. Okay, this one is now backed up, and more is getting through. But is enough going to get through there? I don't know. Because we've now, we've now sped these up heavily, right? So I'm wondering if I, this is the time to do production modules. Do we put production modules in here? Let's see, are you, are you starved on anything? No, you're getting them in time. Just barely on the circuit, on the cables. What happens if I production module this whole batch here? Like that. What happens to that system? Do we produce more? I mean, we're gonna produce... We will produce more overall. The production rate of 170 speed versus this production rate of 200%. That's not a huge loss. Um, and it's got a productivity bonus of uh, 20%. So every fifth one produces a higher one. So it's a 20% increase in productivity for effectively a bad math, but I think about a 10% reduction in speed. So it seems like the way to go. You guys correct me on this one if, if you feel like this is uh, not right. But I think it might be. So now if I take, if I do the same premise here and do this. Oops, delete. Temporarily. It's gonna kill the system. <laughs> it's just gonna tank the current system. But we'll take these out and we'll put in a modular one. I don't know if there's a way to fix that, to have them have the bots print in. Somebody was telling me something about it, but I don't think I copied how that works. I'm not 100% sure. So let's copy this beast right here. I mean, this works right now, but uh, the idea is right there and there. So they shove right up against that and that, that and that, there and there. Now, they'll, the, bot, the bots will immediately refill. What? How did you place that without... Hmm? Why is that one not got a uh, instruction? There you go. It didn't have it didn't have the production mods put in. Okay, so that should make production modules actually be sent to fill that job as well. Had very arbitrary timings and spaces, but we'll see. Um, is there a way to tell the total um, rates here? Uh, our production module or production tab, and I actually want to see those and those. Uh, we need we need a fast and we need a system that's not so crazy go, going crazy on me. Okay, so we're at forty four point five k per minute on the green. We're at eight hundred and twenty per minute on the red, and we're at one hundred and twenty on the blue. Four and a half thousand per minute on the green seems seems happy. It's a happy sounding number, but not sure that it's enough. Are we bottlenecking anywhere? You're not producing a lot because you're feeding, well, the entire bus right now, to be honest. Yes, that's fine. These are red belt, a double line red belt that isn't effectively top priority. There's some serious blue production, though. I love it. Do you love it? There comes the feed. Now this I was uh, 
second guessing myself on again because we are side loading with this design onto this yellow belt, which is definitely enough to feed this thing. Um, as you can tell, there's actually stuff waiting around down at the end because the slow point is the green. So I'm thinking what we have to do is a similar sort of mix here where we output priority left and then we find out where our bottleneck on the green is and fix it. We can back up this line and let it go for a bit. Come and take a look at that in a moment. But we definitely need more green circuit production. So, how's we do that? Well, we could improve our uh, copper output probably fairly substantially. Yeah, these are not, I mean, we could feed these onto uh, um, directly onto undergrounds so they don't have that pause effect. And that will compress the line a little bit more, but by the time it gets down here, it is a fully compressed line. If we speed up the uh, the smelting, do we have the input? Not like this, we don't. Not like this, we don't. We would have to produce and bring in more copper to make that happen and we don't really have it to do so with at the moment and I don't know that that's actually essential I don't know that the red is improved much but it looks like it feels like it's a little bit better let's look at our production numbers again 1.2k no it's not really over the 1 minute 1.1 5.3 160. Okay. Not seeing huge boosts. But again, the production modules are not all in place. Speed modules are all in place. And that's the reality of the amount of, of uh, green we're getting up here. So we would actually need to produce a substantially larger amount of green circuit in order to have this work. Now, is this accurate to say these guys can output a blue line I think they can I think they can feel fill, fill an entire blue line relatively easily possibly way more than that actually hmm okay what if we did something to change this system up is right now wow really right now we have no output on this oh my smrt cheapers dude you are you are a, a factorial genius ignore what the naysayers say you're the smartest factorial player ever um, that entire line was offline. Look, we magically have a bunch more green circuits available. Um, so this is not great because it's just not. It's not. It's nowhere for it to go. Uh, back, back, back it up, everyone, back it up. Got, got to change this up, bros. Gotta change it up. We gotta go like this and that. This guy can go. Uh, oh, um. No, get in there. No, that's not what I want at all. Jeepers. That's what I wanna do. I wanna fill the bottom with that, half, top with that, half, and then we go out this way because. because, oops. Okay. Now, okay. Interestingly enough, this is exactly where, oops, this is exactly where this thing comes to. Can I switch this? Is this going to fix the problem? Yeah, this is. Uh, I hope that, hope you guys enjoy the uh, problem solving side of things because that's what we're on today. Apparently. Uh, I am priority writing that, 
so that it feeds to this thing first. Not sure that needs to be the case. That is feeding me to one, two of them. This is feeding three of them. Okay, so if I uh, do this, then we have enough. Okay, uh, I think that should keep that guy going. Again, seeing a blue, a fully filled blue line to me, makes me question the efficiency of it because obviously like this line is stalled entirely it's producing nothing how many of those would we would we need like would one machine feed enough to feed this thing right now i don't know uh we could possibly split off we could or we could just take it back off here we could take green back off the top and then it would have fed through everything there first Okay, so let's do these and say you guys priority output right, like that. So anything that uh, needs to be pulled off the line gets pulled off first before it goes down the line. I like that. Uh, that's supposed to be priority. Yeah, that's in input right. That's, that's correct. There was also a note somebody gave me about the input priority for some of these feeds. Did I do that right? Yeah, this one down here. It's an output priority. It's supposed to be an input priority left, not an output priority left. So it should come from this one first. That's okay. Uh, this would be also input priority left. Good. Okay, uh, similar sort of uh, deal there. Those should be output priority. And there. But the green is the big kicker. We want to we wanna get all this green sorted. And then whatever is left is coming up top. We could then grab a belt and bring it. Uh, we could grab a belt and bring it back in. I think that would be a good call. So up here, somewhere, I guess, above this one. Yeah, we can just do it one tile above this one, like that. Uh, and then... We go like this. Guess I don't need to be zoomed all the way out there. It might be awkward to see it. And we will dr bring this fun toy right into here. Uh, I need a red underground to give us the room. And then a blue to drop it onto this line. Amazes me how much waste I have in things when I when I don't think of like these giant gaps. Why would I put one like don't jump three tiles? That's wasteful. <laughs> when I could jump multiples. Um, so that's probably not how I'll do that either. Actually, I'll do that and that and that, and we'll priority input left. So that's the excess from this line, which will effectively turn on the bottom one that feeds through the production system. So when this system is active, we'll have less blue production. Okay, at least it feels like it's less wasteful. This is petering along very slowly. Why, because they're combining at some point? Yeah, you're each producing a belt of green so what if we take the this one that's going it's going that way this one, guy can come in here and this guy comes in here and then nothing else joins them so this guy up here instead of joining this mess we do this differently we do this like that we put in a uh, blue splitter to balance and it is indeed two yellow belts or two blue belts full All right priority output left there hit there rebalance I suppose yeah that'll work so it's not actually consuming a full belt is it 
Um, sort of. Ha no, it's a belt and a half. So this is a belt and this is half a belt. And that's all we're pulling off there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But this guy is now shut down because he was redundant because he wasn't actually making uh, productive work get done. I do that. I need to rotate, 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 and rotate. So it's got to go out to the left. There, 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 there. There, and feed up. Hit the bottom of the belt. You come out this way. And we have a uh, another blue belt of green circuits coming out this way to somewhere. To nowhere. So we got more than we need. So we need more red production, I think. Uh, to do so, we could switch those to speed modules instead of the production modules we just put in today. Now, they are, they're getting all the green they need. We have, I mean, obviously more than we need green there. Okay, so there wasn't a, it was a throughput, not a actual productivity rate. Oh, hi. Well, that quickly showed me some information. So that's not the way to do that, is it? No, indeed. Okay. Change of plans, then. You're going like this. You're going like this. And that. And you go up there. We'll catch that guy. You come all the way up here. Um. And there. This is now redundant because it was not a wisely done thing. It did, however, do its job of highlighting my failure, which is something I feel like Factorio is extremely good at. Um, okay, so that's going in here. We're priority outputting here first. We can put one of these in here and tell them to both feed. That gets consumed at an obnoxious rate. Is this legitimately getting eaten before it gets to the bottom? Entirely? My goodness gracious, that's a lot of green circuits we're using. Mm. It is indeed a lot of green circuits we're using. That feels like it's too long to not have backed up to the bottom. Wow. I did not expect that the red would not be sufficient to do the job. Okay. Uh, we need an upgrade planner. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, actually, I can do this one. I can tell it to go from red uh, to blue. Right? And then it'll just do that for me. Good. To blue. Excellent. Now, if I did this... And upgraded these belts to this length there. Come on. Come on, really? Somebody else has got to do that job? You couldn't have reached it? Alright, fine. There. Now, does that mean we get some throughput? Okay, good. It was a matter of it not getting... It just stopped because we were hitting it into red and prioritizing it. Yeah. I don't think they consume a full belt. I mean, that's 20 green circuits every five sec every 10 seconds with a speed boost of 200%. So every three and a third seconds, they're using 20 green circuits. each of those. Wow, that's a lot of green circuits. And of course now the red is dead. Why? Entirely dead. What did I do? 
Oh, I killed that half. Oh, no. How did you... Oh, dumb, dumb. That's how you killed the system. That's how it all ends. Oh, man. Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, base. I screwed you up. Oops. Well, that'll keep those guys busy for a little while, won't it? All right, now green is doing its thing. We need to do the same thing down on these lines and clean this crap out until green makes it back up and activates the top. Oh, boy. Mess is made. That's that's slightly amusing. It makes me laugh at myself. Not what you're here for, Drake. You're not here to make yourself laugh. I hope you guys enjoy my pain as well as I do. And we'll clean this one, too. There. I mean, that's way more probably than I need to suck up with my vacuum self, but... There we go. Now, oops, now they're dropping on one side again. And uh, the issue here is that we have... Um... there. That's what I want to do. And then I need to load into, I can actually, where? I need to load in right here actually. Correct? There's a lot of, uh, a lot of changes, but this is definitely going to improve our volumes substantially. Should hit the end. There we go. Let it fill there. Okay, now we got the top line here, which is coming out to the left, and this third line, which is coming out to the left. Both of those are feeding only to the red circuit system. These other two, the uh, second one and the fourth one, I suppose is the way to put it, are going straight up here with a double line of green. Uh, they are blue. They are severely backed up. So they're not, um, prior, actually they're severely backed up because the red was delayed. So now red is back online. Oh, wow. Red is substantially back online. Okay. How about our productions now? Let me see the one minute marker. 1.1K, 1 3.1K. 1 we got to give them some time to, to catch up. 29. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, you got to give it some time to to run through the system, but this definitely looks like a big, big improvement. Still not enough. However, the other thing we have to do is make another 17 and a half million green circuits. Somebody run the math for me. How many hours do I have to play for still? <laughs> 5k per minute. I need a lot more green circuits. Eureka moment of the day. So, we may have to look at a much bigger production system than this. But, the uh, that'll happen passively as we continue to go forward. Uh, soon we have, however, have to tend to the whole fact that science is effectively doing nothing. What are we missing in science? We're missing chemical science packs. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, we don't have any because that was what was shut down soonest. So... When we start producing them, we can start getting science back online. I don't know what rate we need to have science going in order to uh, flesh out the rest of this, but we have four technologies. Uh, any of these technologies with the white are repeatables uh, that come from rocket launches. So everything that is not in the that doesn't require white science, I believe, is that what needs to be done to fulfill the every research finished goal. But every research that possibly could be chosen requires blue science. Chemical science packs. So we are going to have to get some science stuff going in the not too distant future. Well, thank you, uh, although everyone that has uh, you know, been nagging at me to get that going. I appreciate it. We will definitely get it going. There was an issue about something being boxed. I think it was these being boxed before they got fed into somewhere. 
Oh, it was here. Yeah, yeah. This is not a... Uh, I think this was the concern. That this was before these things fed down into there. But this is actually just a little buffer chest with one tile in case I decide I need to put some speed module ones onto things. Um, and it feeds right back out. <clears throat> so it only have it only affects it. Well, it doesn't affect it all, to be honest. Blue circuits sort of trickling their way down. Where's our production at now? Not high enough. We did not substantially increase increase our red circuit production. We did fairly decent on increasing the um We did fairly good on increasing the green by a bit. Up to 6 instead of 4.5. So we got a, you know, 30%, 35% increase in our green circuit production. Almost no increase in our red circuit production. And we had a probably a 50% increase in our blue production. All right, all that with just redesigning where the belts go. So what is the new slow point for these? production modules maybe we'll let those run through their run their course and get them kind of stacked up for uh and prepped for getting more hmm we'll get them set up for more production but i wonder if we could do another can we can we do this again i think we can We'll have to move that baby right there. Uh, oh, we are we are way over time though, aren't we? Yeah, of course we are. Drake, you're always over time. Do, 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 do. Okay, there. Bots, do your thing. And there. Okay, so that's out of the way, and now if I could, oh, could possibly drop this, I'm going to be dropping it on top of there, like so. Everything should automatically flow in, including the requests. Uh, but I also want to go, how much higher on these? Past the red, we go two. So to there, yeah, we need that guy in place. Okay, good. All that will slightly increase. That should give us a 20% increase in our red again, because I think we can volume it. We may want to adjust this though. Right, that's what we'll probably want to do here. Have this come this way instead. and have it feed in here. That is effectively the same position. There. Shuffle it down a bit. So this guy feeds that one and that one. This guy feeds that one and that one. This guy will feed that one and that one. Good. I think we got enough, more than enough volume there to do the job. We're, we're not using all the green by any stretch, because this is going to be like one, effectively one blocked side. All right, we could expand it another batch, but I think we'll run into things that we need there. So we'll have to look elsewhere for speed ups now after this. So, learning and growing, I guess, right? Yeah, red is the thing. So we got to think about, rethink our, uh, our quantities or our speeds of this guy. I think we need to switch these up from production to speed that might be the better way to go on the other hand we have enough um we have enough plus uh, enough uh huh. we have enough input here to handle what we're doing with production modules possibly even with if they were speed modules too no i think this is going to work i think we'll let this run for five or ten minutes while we do other stuff and we will uh, reth. Oh, hello. We'll rethink and come back here. I like the new drills. <laughs> They're so beautiful. Drilling away. You go, buddy. Oh, those are nice. 
that's beautiful. Little, uh, almost a vacuumish sort of a system that dumps it down into this thing, runs through the grinder, and puts it out on the belt. Oh, that's good. That's some beautiful art. Nice. Very, very nice. And you still can't run through them. They feel like you should be able to run through those. They feel, they feel like it when you look at them now to me. All right, well, that's it for today. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for some more Factorio. Hope you are enjoying yourselves. Welcome to all those who uh, recently joined us. We had a big uh, surge of new members to the uh, clan because of the uh, um, Mark Piler's, uh, um production of uh, a Death World, which is something that's not hugely done by the big-name big, big name guys, so I'm, I appreciate it, and I'm super glad that he did, um, both because it was hilariously fun to watch. If you haven't already... You just watch us. Go check out his stuff. It's in the Discord. Uh, linked to my in the Discord, and I actually think I posted it up on YouTube because it's hilarious, and it I feel his pain. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much, and we will see you in game.